here's another crown case. A patient came in and her chief complaint is, when I bite down, ooh, I feel something. And she keep indicating that this tooth is hurting. Upon examination, I didn't see any decay. I didn't see any craze line. I didn't see any uh, indication that this tooth is hurting. So when I look at on the lower tooth, and it clearly has a large filling in it, and it doesn't look that good, this filling is. So I told her, I convinced the patient that we should go for this one. And there was a little crack line right there too. So what we did was we removed all the uh, filling and this is what it looks like. There is a crack line growing from here to all the way down here. And then whenever you do this and you have to think, hmm, should I take, should I pull this tooth out and put an implant in it? Or should I just put a crown on and see if it's okay? I was a you know, patient and I, we talked about it and it was, what we decided to do was, let's just put a crown on, see if we can handle the pressure. If that doesn't go right, we can always pull it and of course give her credit for the payment she made and then do dental implant. So what we did was after this crown is uh, prepped, well, of course then there's a big crater, so we had to fill it up and then we prep for crown and then we deliver the crown. Again, what makes a good crown is there's no gap between the tooth and then the crown, tooth structure and crown. After this, and then patient said, oh, my symptom went away completely. And so I think it's a successful case. I always look at teeth as if they're my own. So of course, you know, some people say, well, if there's a, that much crack on it, why not pull it and put implant in it? But I always look at as if it were my tooth. So what I did was, yeah, if it were my tooth, I would have put a crown on, see how long it's going to last. Because just putting implant is not everything. It might not indicate for best patient's best interest. So although we might have to put implant in it in the future, but we, patient and I, we both agree that we should put crown on, see how long it's going to last. It should last for a long time. Okay, let's look at the next case. This is another interesting case. Um, but you know, this is very tricky. When you look at this x-ray, doesn't that indicate a full coverage? A full coverage means a crown. When you look at this, there's a little decay right there. And maybe there's a little decay. But x-ray doesn't show there's a big decay under, underneath right here behind it. So, you know, you cannot really solely trust, rely on x-rays to do, uh, you know, come up with a treatment plan. And then you have to have a clinical judgment. So, I've been asking patients that uh, we might want to do something about this too. Maybe we can do only because there's something going on in the behind and then right here, we can just put a, a partial crown on it. That's called a only. So he's been resisting just four years. And then he calls us as an emergency patient and he goes, Dr. Ku, I need help. Something happened. Look at this x-ray a few years later. Look at this, how much decay he has. Big decay, same tooth. The little decay grew a little bit bigger. And then look at this, how much decay grew. All right, so let's, after I took all the, uh, oh, this is what it looks like from the other angle. Look at this, how much decay sitting here. Look at this, there's a leaking filling right there. Filling is leaking. And then he finally broke this area because decay grew big and then the tooth got really thin and then it's finally broke. That's what brought him in. Let's look at another picture. Right here, look at this. Right here. Look at this, how big it is. Do you know what this is right here? And this is called a root canal. Actually, a pulpal chamber, basically. Uh, so what we did was, since it's not bleeding, and then he didn't have any symptoms, uh, so what we did was, we put this barrier. This is a calcium hydroxide paste we put it in. So we can block, so we can have this tooth the chance to, to um, lay any extra dentin reparative dentin underneath and then seal it off. We gave it a chance. But uh, there's a chance they may need a root canal therapy. And then we prepare for crown and then uh, and then we put a, a temporary crown on. This is an ongoing case. So we don't have a final picture yet. I hope you guys had a good kind of a grasp on the, what is indication for a crown. Thank you so much for listening. You have a great day.